All right, guys, it's Steve with Good Old Boys Outdoors, and I'm bringing you another pellet gun review. This is my Beeman QT GP series. Uh, this is one that is an interchangeable barrel. Um, I do have one complaint about this gun. When I got this gun, the color of the stock you see it now. I uh, sanded it down and refinished it but right here in the stock man it was so thick and it was like way up to here and I could barely get my hand around it so I kind of made it more of a pistol grip if you will um ambidextric ambidextric stock I heard you pronounce that but um yeah, I refinished it sanded it down I've done some work to the trigger um I picked this gun up at my local pawn shop for $35, including scope and everything. Um, so, when I first got this gun, I ain't gonna lie, I liked it, but I didn't because of that stock. So, now that I got everything situated, I think it's a great shooter. I'm gonna show you some accuracy at 15 yards. Uh, I might take it out to 30, I don't know, maybe, we'll see. I am shooting H&M Barracuda Mats, 21.14 grains. There they are. Pretty big pellet for a 22. I mean, you know, I like them. They're a great hunter, real good hunter. I mean, kind of lose some of my accuracy with them because I have, um, these guys right here i'm not even gonna try to chop that name up but i have these guys right here and i mean i can have a three eights three shot group at 15 yards so with that being said um let me get y'all down here down range and see if we can get y'all down there just right on 15 yards I got 15 yards there, 30 yards at the next one, and way back there to flag that, that's 50. Okay. I'm gonna be shooting at the, uh, I guess we'll go for the top target. Dead center. And it's cold out here, it's 30. I live in Texas, so uh, where I'm at, it's 35 degrees right now. They say these spring rifles do bad in cold weather, but that's been doing good. It's me that ain't doing too good out here. <laughs> All right. Top target, dead center. Y'all guys on it? Let's go. Ooh, that was shot to the right. That's the only bad thing about these Barracudas. I made a good three shot group all ago before I was on camera. And I mean, it was, it started off shooting bad at first and then I shot a couple times and it, war I guess, warmed up. I don't know, it ain't car, but I got a beautiful three shot group down there and then turn on the camera and now it's acting like this. There's one, dead center, almost. You know, like I was saying, I'm losing a little bit of a, a little bit of accuracy with these, but it is a hard hitting SOB. That one hit high again. Alrighty. It took me about, I don't know, a week or two to make the stock where it's more of a pistol grip. But I was taking my time and just playing around with it a little bit at a time. All right, let's go down to the, to the bottom target. Do another couple shots. Man, my hands are freezing. If 
she's starting to wake up. There we go. Just shooting a little shot to the right. I don't know, man, if the cold weather really messes with these spring rifles. If y'all guys are more, um, if y'all been around them longer than I have, I've been around air guns all my life, but I started out with the old Benjamin multi-pump 22 caliber um, that my dad had. And, uh, you know, I, I started with those and, you know, Coors Red Riders and all that whatnot. But here lately, I just got into bike barrels and nitro pistons and spring rifles. Ooh, that is what I'm talking about right there. That is what this gun can do. I don't know why the first few shots is acting like that, but it's like it took it a while to literally get warmed up. I don't know why. Um. Let's go to the top one. That's a good three shots. Let's go to the top. Nice. You know, in one of my videos, I got a gamma and I cut off the suppressor, if you will. And, uh,. It really made a difference on accuracy. I've been kind of thinking about doing the thing, same thing here. I want to see what it sounds like with it off. And I don't know. I haven't seen no videos where anybody caught the, cut the suppressor off of these. But I don't know, maybe. If y'all like this, y'all leave a comment below. Y'all, you know, let me know what y'all think. There's a nice little three shot. All right, let's uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Everybody knows them little boogers. I like shooting those little things. Those are fun to shoot. I'll show you how hard hitting this thumb gun is if I can hit it. <laughs> let's see. Miss, clean miss. God, my hands are hurting. It is so cold out here right now. Yeah, y'all. Some people might be saying, "Oh, 35 degrees ain't nothing," but yeah, yeah, us Texans, we ain't used to this stuff. want to get me a PCP and I'm thinking about looking at the the Benjamin Maximus 22 cal I don't know I like my 22 calories Ooh, that was a good one I mean for what this pellet gun is let's take y'all out to 30 yeah See if y'all can see me at 30. Yeah, I got a TV out there. <laughs> Let's see if we can hit the spinner at 30. Miss. Clean over the top. I don't have no con conograph or anything like that, so I don't know what it's really pushing out. But I do tell you what, with these 21 grain pellets, this song gun's got a walk to it. This. I'm sorry, I'm starting to shake. My hands are getting numb. I can barely hold these pellets to put them in. Come on, baby. 
Golly. Here, I'll hit the ring of ding dinger. I know I'll hit that. Ha, <laughs> there you go. That's 30 yards for you. I'm just, my hands are freezing. My neighbor's out there barbecuing. <laughs> In this cold weather, that's funny. That's funny. There we go. Let's see, y'all want to hear a ringer at 50. Let's go out to 50. Where's 30? Where's 50 at? Right there. Let's go out to 50. I'm going to hit the right above the TV. That's a, uh, about a four inch um, steel plate back there. Let's see if I can hit it. <laughs> uh, the scope I got on it's a regular beaming scope. It don't have no mill dots or nothing like that. I'm just playing around. Eventually I'll put a mill dot on here. I like my center points from Walmart. Thank you, Walmart. Thank you, center point. No, this video is not sponsored by them or by anybody. I do this all out of my pocket. That's a miss. Would I like to get sponsored by somebody? Honestly, yeah. I'm a stay-at-home dad right now with my little girl being sick. And, uh, you know, I can't work. So my wife works. This is the only hobby I really got. And I figured I would share it with y'all guys. So. It would be nice to have a sponsor to help out around here. With all this. You know, I spend, I've been spending quite a bit of money just to get into doing this and reviewing these pellets and videos and stuff like that. Well guys, let's take y'all down range and show y'all at 15. So, 50, 30, and 15. Let's get down there. Again, this is a Beeman, this is a QT GP series. Um, it does have adjustable trigger, and like I was saying before, I did do some trigger work to it. So, with that being said, show y'all my groups. Okay, so there's where it was shooting high. So, you know, I was aiming here, shot there, shot two here. I already had some. You see all the little stickers. That one's a no. So. You know, and we shot over there three times. That's one, two, and three. You know, about a half inch group. And then down here, that's about a good three inch, about a three inch shooting group right there. So, <laughs> it does good. But, uh, this is Steven from Good Old Boys Outdoors. And y'all please like and subscribe and comment and everything. And, I hope y'all like these videos. Uh, I'm, I enjoy making them for y'all and letting y'all see what I got and what I'm doing and stuff like that. If y'all want to see a video of me doing the trigger on my gun and what I've done to it on the beaming, I sure will. Um, other than that, y'all have a good day and we'll see y'all next time.